and team's shocking performance after losing the second test to South Africa. For the first time in three decades, many of Australia's asthma sufferers could soon benefit from a new approach to treatment. Experts are trialling a two-in-one inhaler, which they hope will protect more people from life-threatening attacks. 43-year-old Kanzi Tamani had severe asthma as a child, and while the danger has subsided, her condition still causes unexpected flare-ups. When I do get a cold or a flu, um, or some other trigger like dust or cleaning products or cigarette smoke. Around two and a half million Australians have asthma and of those we estimate that around about one million have mild asthma so it's very common to have mild asthma. In a year about one in six people with mild asthma need urgent medical care. While puffers are effective in relieving symptoms quickly, many patients are not taking daily medication in the form of preventers, which targets the underlying inflammation and mucus in the lungs. We don't want it to burden people's lives, but we do want them to understand that if they don't treat asthma, it can cause serious events and it can cause long-term damage. This two-in-one inhaler could be the answer in reducing that burden and protecting more sufferers. The Simbacort Turbuhaler contains a reliever and low-dose steroid to reduce inflammation and is only used when symptoms strike, such as wheezing and a tightness in the chest. The doses that are being used in this study, there are essentially no side effects. This new approach will be compared to the standard medications. Investigators say if the results of this trial are positive, it's likely to change the way mild asthma sufferers are treated. We've had asthma guidelines since 1989. This is the first new approach to mild asthma since then. More than one million sufferers like Kanzi could benefit. Since I've started on the trial, I really don't have to think about it. I just have to have it available. That was very attractive because it just doesn't impact on your lifestyle as much. People in Sydney or Newcastle interested in the study can call 1300 303 725. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News. Manly Surf Club is hoping you can come to the rescue as it tries to.